We're in the cold December political doldrums, so I wanted to spice things up with a string of hot takes. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. hot, hot, hot. This is not my party. Brought to you by The Bulwark. Let's go on a take quake with the Wheel of Five. And we start with Brittany Griner. If you're judging our trade of a basketball player versus a merchant of death, without context, there's no doubt that it's a Russell Wilson level bad deal. This is the worst trade in the history of all time. Biden got absolutely fleeced. But here's the thing, we're America. We care about human rights. We're the worried mom who wants people to get home safe. Putin is the tiny dicked deadbeat dad who doesn't care about anybody but himself. He's a terrible person. So we aren't negotiating on a level playing field. That is the burden and blessing of being a great country dealing with his shitty ones. That's surprise we pay. So yeah, I wish we could have got the other prisoners out too. But over the long haul, we're winning, he's losing. The freeing of boot isn't changing that trajectory, and I'm just happy Brittany's home safe. You fly back home to the US. Uh, to the US. Uh, What's your mood? Uh, happy. <laughs> Let's heat it up again. Ah, crypto. So SBF got arrested in the Bahamas. One thing is clear, this dude is a scam artist. What? The company is a Ponzi scheme. He wasn't even following the most basic corporate governance policies. Madness. But while SBF might be a scammy category to himself, my question, is that all of crypto kind of a scam? Don't these stupid coins need to eventually have some real world value? Or else a lot of them are just gonna turn into the baseball cards wasting away in my parents' basement? I'll give you five bucks. I get the value of blockchain technology. I get why drugs Drug dealers are people living in countries with unstable currency use Bitcoin. But in America, we have a Federal Reserve and can invest in products that actually do useful shit. In 2030, do you think people are really going to be paying you for your Dogecoin? This is not financial advice, but I don't think so. Crypto is the future of money. We spin again and land on AI. So I'm pretty concerned that AI is already writing better term papers than half your classmates. It's a sign that we're getting close to a place where it'll be hard to tell whether content online has been written by a human or a computer, whether it's real or inauthentic. I don't know what to believe anymore. And when we get there, it will make the disinformation we saw from Russian bots in 2016 look pretty tame by comparison. Adorable. To deal with this, we're gonna need both a government regulatory structure and clear private sector content moderation policies. But here in our current timeline, we can't even agree on how to deal with Nazi speech on Twitter. I'm afraid we're boned. As such, my confidence in our ability to regulate the excesses and ethics of the coming AI disinformation campaigns is really low. So, the bar is low. That said, have you tried Lensa? Damn, do I look handsome. If this is gonna be my metaverse body, well, goodbye, Joe Biden, and hello, robot overlords. Maybe it won't be that bad. Resistance <laughs> is futile. And I'm hungry for one last take. Boom! Bake me a cake, motherfuckers. There was a Supreme Court hearing last week about a web designer who declined to make a gay wedding website because of her Christian religious beliefs. As a married gay with a nice family, I find this sad and slightly upsetting. I thought we were past this. But on the other hand, can't win them all. For me, gay rights meant my rights, not forcing some weirdo to make me a website or bake me a damn cake. There are lots of web designers and lots of cake bakers out there. Can't we show the ones who aren't down with Heartstopper a little great? Race, or if not, just give them a one-star review on Yelp and move on with our lives. <sighs> Fine. We'll see you next week for more Not My Party. For more weekly episodes of Not My Party, smash that subscribe button.